Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make crystal frills um, by replacing uh, crystals onto where their hair currently is. So the first thing you want to do is buy some frills. Um, you can get these from eBay, local thrift shops, um, for the vintage trolls, and you can find the newer trolls at um, stores online. So now you're going to want to remove their hair, and sometimes their hair just pops off if you twist it, and sometimes you're going to want to cut it off, but otherwise pretty self-explanatory. So you're going to want to take off the hair. It comes off pretty easily um, in sections, as you can see, and then just kind of, you know, make sure you're getting all of this stuff out, and then you just want to kind of find crystals that will fit. So you can go to your local crystal shop, and it's not going to fit in there perfectly but just try to do the best you can. So this one I am gluing right onto here and you can see there's kind of some extra space. That's okay. We can kind of decorate them here with flowers um, or just stick a ton of glue in its spot. You just want to make sure it's pretty secured. Okay, that's another one that I'm working on. Um, so like this guy, he has a little bit of extra hair right there. Um, you can see I did not get off. You can put like little flowers or decor or anything you want around there to kind of act as a crown. Um, and I am working on this calcite point next. I just have to figure out the best way to have it in there. I think I like it like that. And you can kind of play around with it. So for this troll, I am taking these little crackle quartz and I am just gluing them right on here. Um, you can use hot glue, super glue. Um, I'm just using regular hot glue and it's actually sticking really good. And wow, this actually fits perfectly. Um, after we're done gluing all of them on here, we can kind of take off the um, excess glue. Super cute. Um, I forgot what this one is, kyanite? And then I think these are crackle quartz. Um, some of them stand up on their own, some of them don't. That one actually does. And that's about it. That is how you make crystal trolls. Um, super simple. I've seen these selling for well over $50, $60. So there's definitely some money into them if you can find the vintage trolls for a lower cost. Um, most of the crystals I used were between $5 to $9 a piece. So um, just thought I'd share that with you. I um, hope you enjoy making your own crystal trolls and I can't wait to hear from you.